Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today is day 27 of 3D Printmas. Now today, I've got something, um, once again, very interesting. I've said that a lot here, but this might be the weirdest one, but also, in my opinion, one of the coolest. Um, and I'm assuming since you guys watch me on YouTube, um, you guys are also ingrained in the internet culture, so you're familiar with these meme faces. Of course, you don't see these very much anymore, but a couple years ago, these were all over the place, and I still think they're hilarious. So when I set out to create all of these 3D Printmas models, I knew that I was creating a ton of work for myself and my wife. So I needed a lot of models that were simple, and if I could come up with cool models that didn't need to be painted, then that was a huge plus because that would lighten the load on my wife's work. And so I think my wife and I kind of came up with these, the idea for these simultaneously, and we're like, that's hilarious, we should do this. Um, so I set out to make these. I picked four of my favorites, and you'll see the others here pretty soon. And now what I did was I took the four images, and these images are exactly like this, they're black and white, so they convert to an SVG really easily. I did that, brought them into Fusion 360, and, um, you know, extruded the sketches up. So I created the main white background here that was just the, kind of the white spaces in between the black lines, and then I extruded the black lines out to be higher. I think I did um, three millimeters on the um, back plate and then two or three on the, the top details here. Then I used the filament swap technique halfway through the print. Um, I didn't do anything fancy in Simplify 3D. I'm pretty sure you can actually tell it to stop at a specific layer, um, but it was on a day, I was printing these on a day when I was home, so I just um, paused, I just manually kind of watched it, paused it, and then swapped out to black filament halfway through the print and that gave us these. So it required no painting, and I think these um, came out really good. This is the first time I've done this technique, and it, it's a really pretty clean way of doing it. So now if you guys feel that your memes are the dankest, and you need them to translate into the physical world, you can't just be holding up your phone to people while you're physically talking to them, these are your answer. These are obviously pretty goofy, but um, like I said, I, I friggin' loved these guys, and I thought this would be pretty funny to do. And there are a ton of these faces out there, so if you wanted to do something similar like this, um, you know, it's, it's very easy to do. And I think the result actually comes out looking really awesome. Even on something that's pretty detailed, um, like this. Okay guys, well I hope you liked these. Um, links to the four of these that I've created, files are down in the description. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like this, get subscribed. Got a few more days of Printmas and got some really good ones coming up. Alright guys, that's it for day 27. I'll see you tomorrow.